Whoa. Yeah, this was going to heat up fast. I tried to warn you. It was going to heat up fast. It came fast and hot. Now, you see they, they have um, Jimmy Butler and the fact that training cap. People don't realize how quick the NBA season is, is coming up. It's almost October. You got like what? Three three more weeks and the NBA season will be here? So yeah, things are going to be a lot hectic during that time. And oh yeah, the videos you've been awaiting are coming. <laughs> 82 games. Ooh wee! You know what's in store, right? Do I even need to tell you what's in store? This stuff I've been saving up. So he better get the hate button going. Because it's going to fly. But the Jimmy Butler situation is crazy. Because training camp starts on Monday. For like almost every team in the NBA. Training camp starts like this week. Now. Here's the biggest problem. You can't have training camp when players want to fight each other. <laughs> How are you going to have a training camp where players want to fight each other? And that was the biggest thing I was saying to myself. This ain't some uh, conversation is going to fix. You got like three players and some other players who siding with players. You know, you got a broken team. This is not going to be fixed with a conversation. And Jimmy knows it. So he wants out. And now he wants to be traded. And he's dictating where he goes in the trade. Thank LeBron James for this, ladies and gentlemen. And he don't want to go where LeBron is. <laughs> That's a fact. But here's the problem I had. LeBron created this situation. You know what I'm saying? LeBron created this situation. Because of him picking and choosing and dictating where to go. Other players feel like, hey, I can do that too. Look, I want to get traded. And I want to go somewhere where it's hot. So put me here or put me there. So the thing Kawhi Leonard did, same thing Kyrie did. <laughs> LeBron James is like, hey, I showed you guys the way. Making new rules. Free agency used to be the term where you can do what you want. Now it's like we don't even care if we under contract. We ain't honoring the contract. We ain't honoring nothing. Trade me. I don't like the weather out here. I don't like the way it feel in the morning driving out here. I want to go play somewhere where it's warm. But I don't want to go to Phoenix. Don't send me there. Uh, see if you can send me. It's like, look, we got to see if there's a possible trade, period. If you're unhappy here, let's see about moving you. But look, we're we're looking out what's best for the team. You know, and then there's people who's buying tickets already thinking, wow, we got a good team going into next season. We're going to be even better this year. Minnesota selling all these tickets thinking that you want to be there. And then now, all of this going on, now you want to trade. I understand, Jimmy. In this situation, I understand. You not being there or Wiggins not being there, somebody got to go. And I'm quite sure it's going to be Jimmy. <laughs> Whenever you turn down a $100 million extension... You got to go. <laughs> and that's the golden rule. You feel me? You've got to go. And I don't know why this hasn't been explained to people, but it needs to be. 
If you go down this road, you've got to go. Jimmy Butler is not going to practice well with play people that don't want to play with him. And if this is really something like they've come to a position where they want to fight. So the locker room is going to be a, like a, P, a Pier 5 brawl or whatever. You know, it's like, who would want to work under those conditions? I wouldn't want to go to a job. I know I'm going to fight an employee there. So Jimmy's talking about sitting out training camp. And he's willing to do it. Like, I'm going to train at the crib. Well, I'm going to sit out training camp until y'all get a trade done. Like, because he's out. And Tibbs is like, I want to keep Jimmy for the whole year because I don't want to have no team broken up just for some trade picks. And you got me playing with scraps out here. But this is the situation. So on that note, I'm out. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. I'm going to read y'all comments in the comment section. And oh, yeah, you guys can always donate to the page. Click the link in the description box and knock yourselves out. I'm out.